Hello everyone, this is Vintage Trollum Guy, back on the Vintage Trollum Guy channel, bringing another system test video. Happy Final Friday, and this is system test number 46. So, let's get started. So, if you guys remember from last test, we did the uh, electromechanical mid-90s 4 now 3s That included the, the 4 now 3 1919 and the 921. Well, those devices are down, and I have these things up on the system. Yeah. We, I'm, I think we already did a system test with these already, which are system test 20, but that was with the FCI panel. Um, but this time we're doing it on the 4004, so I want to actually listen to these on like code 3 or March time or something like that. So, yep. Well, I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and go over the devices on the system. So for pull stations, still 2999754. Up here, I got the 2901-933 on the 4903-9105 stroke plate. Um, this is going to be doing audible silence. Um, that device over there is not going to be doing audible silence because I have that on two wire operations. So, yep. All right, let's continue on with the rest of the system. Smoke detector as usual. Over here by the door, got still have the 4251 that's 21 and up here, I had the 201938 on the 4903901 stroke plate. All right, that was pretty much an overview of all the devices on the system. So I guess without further ado, I guess we will go ahead and set the system off. Um, let's just soak, I think we'll start off with the soak detector first today because I think I'll we'll save the pulsations for like second to last. So I haven't done the detector first yet, so. I guess without further ado, let's set the system off. So this will be on code three. If you have epilepsy or photosensitivity or seizures to flash and strobe lights, please do not watch this video. Anyway, here it goes. As you see, audible silence over here. Since that's on two-hour operation, uh, no audible silence over there. So, all right. So this is a smoke detector. We can just go ahead and reset the panel. All right. Let's see. Give us a few seconds here. And yeah. All right. System's now back to normal. So. I think we're gonna go ahead and we'll activate the 2999754. I'm gonna go ahead and set the system on March time and then hear these go hear these horns go off again. So I'll be right back. Alright, system's now on March time, so let's go ahead and activate the 2999754. <laughs>
I'll tell you what, that sounds pretty good on March time. It's a good thing with these electromechanical horns, you know. Every time you have these on March time, they sound pretty good. Yeah. It's got like a beat to it, so. Yep. Alright. Wait for the system to reset. Then we'll do continuous. Alright. System's now back to normal, so. We're gonna go ahead, we'll activate the last initiating device on the system, 299, and the system will be on continuous. So, I'll be right back. All right, system's now on continuous, so let's go ahead and activate the 1451S21, and I'm gonna reset this while I'm here. That was loud. This is why I don't really care for the continuous too much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So, wait for the pound reset. Now, pretty much wrap up for this video. Well, that's where I thought I heard someone come in. Huh. All right. So this is now back to normal. So, that pretty much wraps up for system test number 46. Yep. Tying on once, I'm pouring out through stir plates. Yep, this is kind of like uh, like a late 80s, early 90s setup from Simplex. Get the idea. So, the next system test, um, I'm gonna replace these poles. Probably I'm gonna put the Pyrotronics pole. Door B5 is gonna be put back up. I think we're gonna do these horn strobes next. Yep, I have a National Time horn strobe. I haven't used this horn strobe in a while, but apparently they horn on this thing's a little it sounds crappy. It sounds, this thing sounds like a piece of crap. I don't know why. Yeah, I think the pawn on this thing's a little bit rough on it. Yep. Yeah, I think next test we're gonna be doing these uh Faraday 6226 uh electromechanical horn strobes next test. So it's gonna include this national time one. I actually have my Harrington signal one, but it's in, in this box, so I'm not gonna unbox it right now. So yeah. But I think next test we'll be doing the Faraday 6226-W. So that pretty much wraps up for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next week for the next final Friday. Have a great day, everyone.